So in this short VI, we're going to go over how to use the VI text editor. Um, this is a text editor in the command line on Linux or on Unix where we can alter text files, uh, change them, etc. Um, sometimes it's, it's good to be able to know how to use a command line text editor um, because maybe we don't have a GUI running. Uh, perhaps we're logging into another system um, via SSH or via Telnet. Um, and so sometimes it's good to be able to know and get, at least get around in VI. VI is actually a very powerful text editor program. We used to have a whole course on VI, but, but really, I mean, it's important to be able to at least know how to use VI to get into a file, text file, how to change it, and then how to save uh, the file. And so that's what we're going to do in this short video. We're going to show how to, just the basics of using VI. Now, VI is also known sometimes as VIM. Um, there are a couple other alternative uh, text editors in Linux at the command line. There's Emacs and Pico, uh, but VI is generally there, so that's just kind of what we're going to use in this little video and what we're going to talk about. So let's open VI. Um, obviously, we could use a, a GUI-based text editor as well, um, but we're going to show you how to use this command line one so you know how to use it. So as you can see, I was actually using it before to open up a file, and this is simply how we open up VI. We use VI at the command prompt, and then we tell it what file we want to open. So configuration files are pretty common. So here's the Samba config file. So we can actually um, use, we can't use our mouse inside of here to kind of go through the file. We have to use our, our arrow keys or our page up, page down keys on our keyboard to kind of look through the file. Now, as you can see, if we wanted to go through as a normal text editor, we could start typing something and it would start typing. But I'm doing that now and nothing's happening. And this is because VI works. There's three different modes in VI. Um, that you can go into. And if you want to alter a file, you need to be in insert mode. Uh, and the other modes are command mode. This is the mode where we can actually quit out a VI or save the file or something like that. And then there's this kind of limbo or in-between mode um, that you're put into by default when you open VI. So again, right now I can't really type anything into VI. I can move my cursor around, uh, but I can't really type anything into it. If I wanted to type something into it, I'd have to go into insert mode. So for instance, let's say I wanted to change my NetBIOS name to my Samba server here. So right now in config files, if a line has a number sign or a semicolon, it means it's commented out. So if I wanted to take those out and set a NetBIOS name to my server, I'd have to actually edit this file. So again, I'm kind of in this limbo mode right now. To get into insert mode to edit the file, I have to hit the I key, I for insert. So once I hit I, you can see it tells me down here that I'm in insert mode. So at this point, I can go and, uh, again, not using my mouse to, to move around, but my keyboard, um, I can hit delete to actually make this line live. And I can go and... Um, edit that file. Okay, so I'm in insert mode now. Um, so I can go and, and change things around. Now at this point, let's say I wanted to save the file. Um, so if I want to save the file, I need to get to command mode. Now to get in between different modes of insert mode, command mode, and then the in between between those two, kind of a, a limbo mode, we have to hit the escape key first to get out of insert or command mode. So if I hit the escape key, you can see the insert gets removed and I'm back in this limbo mode. Now if I want to save this file and quit out of VI, I have to go into command mode. And to command mode, I have to hit the colon key. So if I hit colon, you can see it actually gives me a cursor and puts a colon down here for command mode. So at this point, if I want to quit out of VI and save the file, I can type W for write and Q for quit. Write quit. So there it saves my Samba file and it quits out. So if I go back into um, the file and scroll down, there it saved my changes. 
So let's say I did that again. Remember I go into VI and I'm currently in a limbo mode so I can't type into the file or I can't do any commands. So I hit I for insert mode. And let's say I wanted to go back and do something like that. And I say, okay, um, I'm going to hit escape to get out of insert mode and the colon to get into command mode. And I could hit WQ for right quit, but that would save the file. Let's say I didn't want to save any of my changes. If I didn't want to save changes but quit out of VI, I can hit Q for quit and then the exclamation point for don't save. And so now if I go into it again, you can see my changes have not been saved in this file. Okay? And again, so I'm in uh, this limbo mode. If I don't want to edit it or or anything like that, I can go straight to command mode, which again is the colon key, and then I can again hit Q for quit. Now when you're using a uh, VI to edit a file or any type of command line a text editor, one thing we really don't want to do is we don't want to close this terminal window, because this is going to um, keep this text file open. Um, and we'll have uh, what we call a lock file. Um, it'll just something we don't want to do. And I can do that to show you what's going to happen if we go back into this. Well, let's just look in the directory first. Well, it's there, but let's try to open it up. Uh, it worked probably because I hadn't been changing anything. Let me try it again now. Let's try to change some things. And now let's quit out of it like we shouldn't do. And this is what we get because what had happened is we had changed this file and basically we then we closed the terminal window which basically kind of pulled the plug on this file and so what it's telling us is uh, if we want to recover this original file um, we would have to type this command vim dash r so I'm going to come out of this And it, you see it gives us the file um, that we had changed before, kind of this swap file. So now if I look at the file again, oh, it's still going to give me this information. So what I'm going to have to do here is look. Uh, include my uh, do dash A to show hidden files and we can see we've got this swap file and this is what we'd want to delete to get rid of that um, error message we're getting with VI. And so now it's going to open up just fine because it doesn't see that alternate um, file there. So again the point of this really is is if you're inside a VI with a file, we do not want to close this terminal window here. We want to come out gracefully, which is to, again, I for insert. I'm going to take out this stray line, escape to get into a limbo mode, colon for command mode, write quit. And that's how you properly come out of a VI session with a text file.